gratitude greetings. All of you see a smile on my face. Why? Because I'm sitting in front of a great leader, a great influencer, effortless marketer who loves people. Yes, she calls herself life coach Payden. Yes, she doesn't like titles. Sunny introduction was too much, but she is so good. I met her on Facebook. She inspires effortlessly with ease, peace, love and joy. And she is so spiritual, intuitive, smiling and always peaceful. She loves freedom and she is like queen of queens. And she is a strategic life coach and NLP coach with a difference. Lot of spiritual values. I look forward to learning from you. Welcome, Payden. Thank you for having me on. Welcome, welcome. I'm blessed, I'm lucky, I'm fortunate. Now you please tell us, what is the secret behind your spiritual vibes? Okay, so let me be very honest. It wasn't really like this. I wasn't spiritual right from when I was young. A lot of things have happened. Uh, I've had to learn a lot of hard lessons. I've had to lose a lot of uh, relationships, personal relationships. And I think the biggest one was uh, when I suffered the loss of my mother. This was a couple of years back. And up till that point, I think I can look back and say up till that point, my life's journey was trajectory was going somewhere else. I was just involved in, I want to make money. I want to climb the corporate ladder. And I was working in the advertising industry back then. And it was only after I lost her, did I start to evaluate what am I doing with my life? Like, okay, paisa hai, after you want to make more money, after you want to get the titles, if you want to grow in the corporate, what next? And that's when I started questioning my internal values and even looking at my values for that matter. And that's when I got into deep into spirituality. And that's where my spiritual practice started, I guess. Mama looks at you, Mama smiles, Mama loves, and Mama is so proud. Yes. Thank you. Now, what is the secret behind your smile? <laughs> <laughs> the secret behind my smile, I think uh, it boils down to a couple of things that um, I take responsibility. I try taking responsibility for everything that I do and not blaming and projecting less outwardly. So if I am happy, it is because of me. If I am sad, it is because of me. And I guess that was a very interesting lesson I learned that when you take responsibility, not just for the good stuff, but also for the goof ups in your life. That's when you can oh. really smile. You can really <laughs> smile. <laughs> you can smile um, in a way that it is infectious and it touches others. I am so thankful to you for giving such lovely answers and you know enlightening us with your spiritual magic. Now, what makes you fearless and courageous? What makes me fearless and courageous? I would have to say my spiritual practice plays a huge part in everything that I do, right? From my coaching business, my personal relationships. We are all here for a very incredibly small amount of time. You know, I keep saying this 30, 40, 50, 60 years if we are lucky. And uh, what we do during the time that we are here, we are not going to take any of it when we go. We're not going to take money titles we're not going to take even the love that we share but I think it is very important to be mindful while we are going through this journey and everything I truly believe this that everything that I do or say is a reflection of who I'm defining myself to be it is less about what someone else does to you it's less about he said this she said this how do you show up in a moment how do you um, but still, behave. you know, I have my fears. I'm not courageous like you, fearless <laughs> like you. <laughs> but every, I, think that's, I, think that, I think that's, there's no secret as such, Sunny. I think it is, uh, it has a lot to do with being self-aware. It okay. has a lot to do with um, your peace of mind. For me, my peace of mind, for me, my North Star 
is that how do I sleep at night? And if I can sleep beautifully at night, I am good. I am I am very very good. So I think that is really the secret, if you say. Okay, so I'll be aware and I will sleep well. And yes. life is short, so live courageously. My live in absolutely. Okay, now absolutely. my next question is very important. Okay, what makes you a great marketer? What makes me a great marketer? So, Sunny, you will not believe in the last uh, 10 years alone, I have invested a lot of money from learning from the best coaches out there. Because I don't believe that anybody is born good at anything. It is a, it's a technical skill that you learn. So if you want to get good at public speaking, for example, you go and get those skills. Same way with marketing. Even though I have an advertising background of 10 years, I had to learn the new trends. I had to keep up with the way, uh, you know, social media marketing is planning out because every platform is changing every other month. So you have to keep constantly investing in your technical skills. And I guess I have spent so much money. Some courses have been fabulous, some not so fabulous. But if you ask me, I think uh, whatever I am doing currently with my marketing is a result of learning from the best coaches out there and then making it my own. So it is about modeling success. It is about seeing what is working. And then you take hints from that person or those people and then you make it your own. It is not about copying somebody, but you know, they say the highest form of flattery is copying, right? Like, but imitation rather. But you model somebody who is successful in the field that you want to get successful in. And then you go and add your own flavor to it, your own uniqueness, because we are all unique in our own way. And you're great at modeling and you're great at NLP. So now what yes. makes you a great NLP coach? I think practice. It can't just be that you go and get the technical skills. You have to walk the talk. So when I was going through my NLP coaching and I've taken several NLP coach, uh, coaching courses, it is not just that you go and put yourself, immerse yourself for three days, five days in a workshop, and then you come back and you say, oh, you are an NLP coach now. What about, yeah, what about, <laughs> what about practicing that on a daily basis? And your life should be a proof that you are not just going and giving gyan to somebody else, but it is about emulating everything that you uh, you say that you want to, you know, show up in the world with. So if you have these technical skills, are you implementing those technical skills? So I guess the answer to your question really is what makes me a great NLP coach? I think practice, practice, practice. What is your advice now? What should we practice in NLP? <laughs> what are your three favorite topics in NLP? <clears throat> what are my three favorite topics? I think my biggest or my favorite uh, topic really in NLP is practical, technical implementation uh, models that you can do on a daily basis for which you don't have to go and even sign up for a course or for a, at a workshop, but what can you do on a daily basis? So if you are having a negative habit that you want to get out of, or you want to create a, a new habit. So things like anchoring, things like the circle of, you know, uh, excellence. So these few technical NLP tools really are something that you and I can practice on a daily basis. You don't need to become an NLP coach for that. You don't need to go and join an NLP workshop. But these are very practical and handy tools, if you will. Cool. Now, your three happiest moments. My three happiest moments. Okay. Um, when I have... The, my first happiest moment is every time I set a goal for myself. And I will explain why it is a happy moment because I am able to dissociate myself from the outcome. I don't obsess so much about whether I'm going to achieve that goal or not. But my happiest moment is I have the courage to show up in that moment and say, oh, this is something that I would want to do. This is something that I want to experience. And God willing, uh, what I want, I will get or 
I will get something better because there are no failures in life. I truly, truly believe this, that, you know, there's a saying in Hindi, if I may uh, yes. digress and get into Hindi a little bit. If you get what you want, then it's good. But if you don't want what you want, it's good. You know, I hope I didn't mess up Hindi too. No, you are but... great. You are magic. <laughs> because I was expecting you to say, jo nahi mila, wo aur hai. but you say, <laughs> jo bin mange mile, wo aur hai. It is so I true. Think... <clears throat> Thank you. So because that is my first. What I yeah. ask is limited. What I yes. ask is out of my limited knowledge. Right. You know, what comes from the universe? What comes from the almighty? <clears throat> yes. nature yes that is going to give me a lot of relief peace fulfillment yes. and what not and that is a surprise absolutely and that is faith absolutely so that is i think the first uh, to answer your question about uh happy when moments, three, my happy one is moments the, yeah. yeah my first one is when every time i set a goal and the second time is when i conventionally fail you know, I just mentioned that there are no failures, but when I don't get, end up getting what I want, it is in part with the first question's answer. But every time I have not got something in life, Sunny, looking back, I feel so blessed that it didn't turn out the way I thought it should have turned Aise, out. Kaise, kitne saal baad bolte ho? Oh, very good. Yes. <laughs> yes but, and that's the, no, but that's the thing. Uh, I think <clears throat> I'm able to shorten the gap now with with my practice. Earlier, it was, it like you said, you have to wait a couple of years in and look at it in hindsight. But now with practice, I feel now it is closing. The gap is closing. Now when something I don't get, I'm able to, you know, retaliate and say, oh, okay, so something greater is coming. Something better is coming. And the third is when somebody challenges me and challenges me, uh, you know, I feel that, you know, it is that in this whole world, we are all living in a, in a world of projections. So if somebody, if I put out something on my social media and somebody, and I get a lot of trolls, a lot of unnecessary people jumping in on Messenger or on DMs, and they say, who do you think you are? And why are you qualified to talk about this? And I maintain this, that if there is something that you don't like in me, you should please consider what is it that you don't like in you? Because everything is a projection. Everything, the way you are reacting to somebody is a projection. So I think these are my three happy, top happy moments that I am trying to live a more conscious life, trying to be less reactive and understand that everything, like you mentioned, the universe is working in my favor. So when I'm not getting what How I want, how do you do all this? It's a practice. Believe you me, Sunny, it has not. It, I was not like this from the time I was born. I'm right? your friend now. I'm feeling very happy. I have never, you know, I've done over 300 interviews, little boast, you know. But I have not met a person like you. And I usually ask this question to everyone. You know, tell me your happiest moments. And right. most of the mothers will say, first child, second child, third child. I love that. Right. Right. And otherwise, you know, happy moments will be, yeah, you know, this, that, success, achievement, something like that. You are the only right. one who has, you know, uh, related it very spiritually and given me a lot of wisdom here also. And I remember Dr. Kiran Bedi, I asked, ma'am, your right. happiest moments. I thought she'll say, uh, you know, this award, that award, going to this country and holding this uh, uh, prize money or, right. you know, catching hold of this case or this criminal okay. is sitting in front of you and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is profound. That is deep. Yes. Yes. So this is what I enjoyed about the whole interview. I'm thankful to you for the lovely, lovely Thank answers. You. I'm learning so much from you. This is like free coaching for me. <laughs> me too. Likewise, Thank you for I, I, coaching came me. Know, I came to know so much about you also, Sunny, through the way you communicate and through the work that you, fantastic work that you're doing on your YouTube channel. Thank you. I'm happy. So now let's play one word answers. 
Life one is... word answer. Oh my god, I'm terrible. <laughs> life in okay. one word. Okay, life in one word. Okay, you have to give me um life in one word. Uh, beautiful. Love in one word. Absolutely. Ev- okay, one word. Everything. Coaching in one word. Necessary. Freedom in one word. Freedom. Yes, I can sense and I can feel. You're a free soul, and you're flying high. You're inspiring so many, and you are practicing a lot, which you just shared. So, I wish you all the best for all your future noble endeavors, and I'm thankful to you for the time, gift of the time you gave us, and you're inspiring so many thousands through this interview also. And I want to see you smile always. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sunny, for having me. It was amazing to be here. Thank you.